Hello YouTube, this is the Omega831 and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create a Bucket 1.0 server. First things first, you're going to want to open up your web browser and look up Bucket. It's going to take you here, click on that page and you're going to want to click on Git Craft Bucket. This is just the three main operating systems that you can create a server on. Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X. For this video, I'm going to be doing a Windows tutorial, so I'm going to click on that. And first, you're going to want to download the ra latest recommended build. I'm going to go ahead and drag that onto my desktop. Next, you're going to want to open up a new Notepad document. And if you have Java 6, you're going to want to go ahead and copy and paste the top one into your notepad. But if you have Java 7, go ahead and copy the bottom one into your notepad. I have Java 6, so I'm going to be copying the top one. And I also am running, if you read this right here, Note, if you are running Java in 32-bit mode on a 64-bit machine, which I am doing, change program files to program files x86. For most users, it'll be just regular program files, but I set it to run on 32-bit mode, so I'm going to go ahead and change it to x86. If you do not know what you, you're running it on, just go ahead and leave it how it is, because that is most likely what you're running it on. So I'm going to go ahead and change this x86 and click save. I'm going to name it, or actually cancel that. Go back, and I, one thing I forgot to mention is that you want to rename where it where it says craft bucket 1.0 snapshot dot jar into craft bucket. Just so it's just craft bucket. I'm going to go ahead and save that as run dot bat and you're going to want to save it as file type all files save it's going to come up on your desktop you can go ahead and minimize that next you're going to want to create a new folder and name it bucket server go ahead and drag the craft bucket jar and the run script in there rename this to straight up craft bucket and click run and you've successfully created your first or maybe not your first but a bucket server in the meantime I'm going to show you how you connect to the server and also guys I'm going to be putting my server's IP link if you want to come check it out it's a faction server that'll be in the description and probably be in an annotation throughout the video and that is right here it's called new era minecraft so how you how you would connect to your local server all you gotta do is add a server you can name it whatever you want but I like to name it localhost because that's what it is and the server address would be local host and see now you can join and I'm logging in and now I'm logged in I'm falling through the world that is mainly because the map is generating maybe it could be because I'm recording but usually it should not be like this there we go and the map is loaded and it may take a couple seconds for the map to load maybe laggy for a couple seconds but just let it go through its process and dang this is an amazing map <laughs> I think I might keep this one ah, paid. Wow, this is really awesome map. <laughs> and uh, that pretty much concludes it. And if you're wondering how to add a plugin to your server or multiple plugins, I'm going to be also doing a tutorial on that after this. But for now, I'm going to be doing a basic plugin package that will be in the description. You can download it and just drag it into your plugins folder. That'll include the essential plugins you need to run your server, like essentials which will give you ranks so if you want to have an owner rank you can set to that or and that will also give you like TP and set the time and other cool stuff like that 
so I hope this tutorial helped you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.